If I was Prince Harry, I'd be very concerned about what I wrote about the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla, the wife of his father, His Royal Highness Prince Charles. And here's the reason why. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London, Kensington Gardens today. Nice to have your company. I know, doesn't it look lush? Absolutely. No, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the greenery behind me. <laughs> That's just a foregone conclusion. Oh, if only. <laughs> You're all very kind, by the way, about the ties and the comments. But I know sometimes, yes, I do look a little bit, uh, shall we say, jaded. This job is 24-7, let me tell you. But of course, it's wonderful to bring all the latest news that matters to you live from London and direct from London. So back to your break and roll story of the day. This particular story really centres on the fact, of course, uh, regarding the forthcoming book by Prince Harry. And more importantly, what will he be writing about Camilla? According to another royal author who has an unauthorised book coming out, she basically claims that Prince Harry can't stand Camilla. I really find that hard to believe, as I've said before in previous shows, they have got on. It's only in the last few years, seemingly, that Prince Harry has fallen foul of his whole family. Not quite sure why. <laughs> Obviously, people change and move in a different direction. But if there's one thing that will really anger Prince Charles, it would be this. Some line for Charles is that he doesn't want, of course, Camilla to be bad-mouthed in any way, particularly by his own youngest son. And the reason behind this is, as you recall, when Meghan Markle sat down with Oprah Winfrey, she basically said she was cut off, left aloof. Nobody looked after her, that sort of thing. She had to look up the words for the national anthem on Google. Nobody explained about curtsy and all that sort of stuff. Well, according to a very good source, all of that, in fact, was passed on to her by none other than the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla. In fact, Camilla went out of her way to have tea with her numerous times, and they had lunch together a few occasions. Now, Camilla was really trying to bond, because if anybody knew how to be vilified in the world's media, then, of course, it was Camilla. Let's not forget just how bad it was for her in the 90s. Very similarly for, of course, Fergie, the Duchess of York. So it's very hard, isn't it, then, when you think about it, that if you recall Prince Charles walking Meghan halfway down the aisle and being so gracious with her mother, who was sat alone in St George's Chapel, and then you have Camilla offering the hand of friendship to Meghan, knowing that, of course, she was a newbie within the British monarchy, for her to go on TV and say that nobody assisted her, first of all, that was a real sting in the tail. Now, if that makes it into print, and let's not forget if Camilla is mentioned as not really being of a great assistance to Meghan and as ever we have to say allegedly then there will be fireworks according to that close source to Prince Charles. Now I kind of see his point of view if you think about it because after all it was very obvious to all the outsiders and the royal watchers and royal reporters just what a comfort blanket was being put around Meghan at that time no matter what variation of story they wish to put out. So I do actually think on this occasion it's rather cruel for Camilla to have to endure something so negative. And even this particular latest biography which claims that Prince Harry absolutely detests her. How cruel to write that with actually no true backup. But as ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean, Kensington Gardens, London.